Men who flirt with speed that kills to earn their daily bread rally at Bridgehampton, New York for a 100-mile Grand National Stock Car Race. A correctly balanced set of wheels and a highly tuned late model stock engine are prime requisites for a smooth, swift ride over the tricky road course. Set to give it a whirl in a 1963 Ford is Glenn Fireball Roberts, a daredevil driver with the knack of turning up first at the finish. Thousands cheer as 17 late model stocks take the green flag. On the front end is the fastest qualifier, Dick Petty, driving a 63 Ford. Right alongside comes Fred Lorenzen in a 63 Plymouth. Pat, pressing for his 10th stock victory of the year, leaves the field in a lurch as he zooms car number 43 into a lengthy early lead. Further back, Papa Lee Petty gives chase in his Plymouth. The high-speed caravan hits the main straight, where the fastest cars are usually clocked at some 175 miles an hour. A 62 Pontiac ruled by Worth McMillian, jockeys for position on a treacherous downhill curve. Dick Petty's in the process of lapping one car as he continues to roll Murley on his way, 15 seconds ahead of Fred Lorenzen. Marvin Panch is currently in third place ahead of Fireball Roberts. Joe Weatherly, Grand National Point Leader, streaks past our cameras. Weatherly is eighth in a field that has narrowed to 14 cars. Dave Pearson wheels car number six, a 63 Dodge around the corner. Marvin Panch and Lee Petty battle bumper to bumper with the race 50 miles old. Marball Roberts has his hands full, keeping his board on even keel. Still the leader and enjoying a rocket ride all the way is Dick Petty in a Plymouth. The stock jockeys aren't a bit timid about negotiating the gigantic horseshoe curve at full throttle. North Carolina's Ned Jarrett is putting other pilots to shame as he bombs away in a 63 Ford Supercharger. But his belated bid to catch the leader will prove unsuccessful. With two laps to go, there is still a fierce battle raging for the second, third, and fourth positions behind the front runner, who is Dick Petty. Dick is on top by 25 seconds. Houston's Billy Wade in car number five, a 63 Dodge, has come on strong in the late stages of this race. Running second to Petty in car number 28, a Ford is Fred Lorenzen. The crowd strains to catch a glimpse of Dick Petty as he steers the lead car across the finish, a full 25 seconds ahead of runner-up Fred Lorenzen. 